worry, I could feel it. And I had an exit straight down there. Hey team, I'm Nikon Ambassador Jason Boland. Today, Scotty and I are back with Corey Creed. Now every time we come and see Corey Creed, we seem to be testing something. The first time was the Nikon D6, and then we're here doing a video on shooting action with the Z6 II. Today, we're back with the Z9. Yep, you guessed it. I've been lucky enough to have it for a while now, and I've been using it on film set. Um, when I first got it, I was like, I really want to think of some ideas that'll showcase this camera the way that I shoot it. I want to treat it like, you know, it's on assignment. I'm not going down to the local park. I'm actually having massive action, super low light. We're here with Corey. He's going to be flying through the air on his bike, straight at me as usual. Then we shot our good friend, Ellie Gonzalez. She's an Australian actress, incredible. 25,600 ISO. I was pulling light out just so that I could get so low. And then it was like, okay, I've got the action, I've got the low light, I really need to combine the two. So we went down to the rink and uh, we shot low light, super fast action hockey. So I've covered what I think is three bases, four if you uh, count the film set, but I can't share those shots, but it performed amazingly. The standout features for me, the eye focus, the 3D focus, it's back, um, frames per second, um, there's just there's so much there's all the menu system there's so many little bits and pieces in there which I'll take you through later in the video but I'm not going to waffle on any longer let's hook into some action and uh, I'll show you some photos in a bit <laughs> that was close I'm gonna go to face detect now Holy macaroni. Look at that when it picks it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's shining there. Yeah. That's sick. That's right? Sick. That's all. Right? Insane? Look at this. Oh, how's it? Right? Wow. Let's do the same. I'm yeah. give you more. Okay. Yeah. So I do shoot exactly the same as what I'm doing, like from the, from the beginning? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna pick the win. Okay, okay. All right, face detect, insane. This camera's taking away a few of the options. It's like normally I'm completely in control. I'm the boss. But um, nearly every mode is just working for me. It's a, literally, see again, I'm speechless about this autofocus. Anyway, um, I'll probably shoot it at a uh, thousandth of a second and work out something like five, six or something like that. But we'll uh, have a look. Maybe there's no point really in doing slow shutter on this because uh, there's nothing to blur in the background. But, um, yeah. Should take the lens cap off, what do you reckon? Everyone does it, right? You guys have all done it before, surely? This could look pretty cool, actually. I'm thinking that I'm going for something artistic. Mono. Now, safety-wise here, there's a small possibility that when Cory lands, the bag could come here and it can push me. So I don't want to be near this because it'll kill me. So I'm going to come down here underneath the um, bar so that at least if it does pop out, um, I've got an exit. Whenever you're shooting action like this or up there with Cory before on the jump, you guys have got to have an exit. Um, it looks like I'm a bit stupid and crazy, but I'm not. It's, everything is planned. Did you knock down the camera? No. <laughs> no, I didn't get a concussion, um, but I got a really cool shot. But um, I'm going to turn into black and white and show you when we do it later. The Z9. Oop, got to cover that back up or I get into trouble. No one's allowed to see. Right, so as you can see, the function button's there. Turning on, that opens up the uh, sensor cover. Turn it off. Sensor cover there. I don't want to do that too often though. All the dials, beautiful. 
top screen. Now, LCD, this is pretty cool actually. Oh, hold on, before I do that, can you read under there? Yeah, that's my kind of exclusive. I'll give you the tip. Okay, so this is articulating. Down there, looking for all those overhead shots. Here, look at that, fully, pretty sick. And then full HDMI over here. A plethora of function buttons everywhere. Side grip, function button, lock for the card. I'm running um, Hoodman's, great cards. Lock. Why am oh. I turn into black and white? Sick, right? You, haven't you done that angle before? Oh, You've I've never done, done that it? trick before. Oh, all right. Knack alley you. I have, but I haven't got it like that before. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, then it works good, right? Hey. I mean, it'll look great in black and white. That's going to look rad. That's sick. Oh. Just all those angles and lines and. We're just having fun at the moment. Um, Corey and Liam uh, <laughs> filming some really rad stuff. I'm just going to lie in cow poo and uh, take some photos. Right, we're going to do a little bit of um, weather seal testing on the Nikon Z9. Yes, let's see um, how she performs in the mud and then the water. We'll give you as much grease as possible, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then we'll give it back to Watto. And at 20 frames a second, just trying to figure out the exposure. I'm going to take it down to 500 at 4.5 and I'm going to go all areas and motor vehicle. alright? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Hold on. <laughs> oh well, hold on, I haven't looked. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, did you? In there? That's what I thought. Oh, that's why, because it was in the dark. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. How good. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, it's hilarious. I love it. All right, we've got that one. <laughs> Right, here we go again. Track it from the beginning. I was. Don't worry, I could feel it. And I had an exit straight down there. Oh yeah, no, can you imagine falling in with the camera? <laughs> that was gold, mate! Yeah, yeah, that'll be, that'll be epic. I would pick the deepest part. Yeah, yeah, right? All right. You want to try this? That was gold. <laughs> now it's time to give you a cuddle. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, lovely. <laughs> All right. You want to try that? Yeah, well, let's go up there. If we if it, if we get it, we get it. If we yeah. don't, yep. Are you right to do that? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Oh, thanks, mate. If you're going to give me a camera to test, I'm going to test it, aren't I? So uh, everyone, there's no surprises.
Indoor. Perfect day, eh? Well, team, what a day. Um, I've got to hand it to Corey. He just turns the show on for us every time. And this little baby, the Z9, did too. Hey, um, we got to test eye focus, automobile focus, the tracking. Um, we got to do the weather sealing test, right? Um, so I hope I'm not in trouble for that. But, uh, you know, what's a Nikon Z9 test and without doing a weather test, you know? So anyway, I had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got time, please uh, subscribe and uh, do the bell so you get notified next time I have one of these rad videos. And uh, I'm out of here because I'm just so excited. I deserve a beer. That was a great way to end the day. Corey is an absolute champ. Every time we go out there, he just turns it on. I get pretty much what I need, but I've always got some unfinished business. We'll get to that further down the track. Oh, and I got my souvenir Corey uh, artist designed hat. Um, it was my favorite, probably even more my favorite now with all that mud splatter all over it. Um, we're going to hook into some photos. Just want to let you know, you know, when I'm doing these videos, I'm no camera reviewer. I'm just a regular photographer. I'm lucky enough to get some of this gear before other people. Um, but I'm testing out a camera to suit me and my style of photography. Might not be yours, but at least you're going to get to see what works for me and uh, make up your mind from there. Now, um, let's just share this. <laughs> this was crazy. Um, 14 mil full frame, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I love doing this shot. As you can see, no distortion, no rolling shutter. You know, there's it's just everything is solid all through this. And, you know, these are big files, and this S glass, look at it, edge to edge. It's just performing like nothing on the planet. Um, I got to say, it's uh, the whole thing is blowing me away. Look at that. That was that was really close, actually. That was like a, a side swipe right through me. Again, 40 mil full frame. Um, you know, you're also looking at JPEGs here because the cameras that we've got are pre-production models. So um, I can't read the raw and I can't manipulate it. I can't do anything. So you're just seeing a JPEG straight out of the camera. And uh, I really like that shot, actually. It's it's not a good motorbike shot, but um, it's a good uh, a good Jason shot, I guess. Now, here's his little buddy, Liam. Now, this was uh, 150 or, you know, getting up to 200 mil. But the thing that blows me away, on the human detect, it starts off picking up face, like face detect, but then as things get closer, it will zero through, and it's focusing on the eyes through the visor. Which is uh, which is blowing me away. First happened at the ice hockey. I'll talk about that later because um, it's quite something else. And these, all of these ones, I was using automobile detect. And then when I slipped back over here, I uh, was using um, human detect, which you know was face and and eye. And you know, there's a lot of mud going on there. It's not picking up any of that. Uh, there's my artistic shot that I was talking about. Now. This is a really interesting one um, because one of the biggest features on this camera that I've found is how important the autofocus tracking lock is. Now, on my old cameras, I've been used to just setting it on three, and I really haven't noticed much of a difference. Um, but with the Z9, it's a real integral part of my photography. This shot, for example, it's a blind entrance. So what I did was I pre-focused on the top of the ramp. And then when I went to photograph it, there was this little delay. And I'm like, hold on, this is not doing what it's been doing for the last few weeks. Then all of a sudden it slammed into focus. And uh, when the jump was over, I went and checked it out. I was like, what have I done wrong here? And I had the focus tracking lock set to number five delay. And so then I changed it back to one and it was boom, straight in there. And I mean, look at that. Look at the eye detect straight through the visor again. It's um, and look at those files. It's like beautiful blacks of gold. You know, it's got it all going on. Now, <laughs> this is the one that you saw everyone on the floor laughing about me being covered in uh, in dirt or mud or cow poo. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, probably a mixture of all all three. But we wanted to try and do a dust shot, but it had been raining for three days. So all the dirt and dust was, um, you know, turned into mud. So it was 
quite thick. Now, this is not a great shot. This is one of my unfinished business shots. Next time we go out there, I'll be uh, out there to try and nail this one, and hopefully I will. Um, but my favourite shots this, of this sequence is the next frame. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? I had a Sigma ceramic clear on there, thanks to my mate Fred, who talked me uh, into buying one of them to protect my gear, and um, it really worked, to tell you the truth. So um, there you go. And this is this is a good sequence to show no distortion and and you know how amazing this sensor is. And I've got to say, if the Z9 is the future of mirrorless, then we are in very very good shape, and the future is bright. Um, there's no distortion anywhere through here, and the tracking. Look at it; it's just followed through all the way. And uh, this next shot is a nothing shot, but it's an everything shot. I mean, look at that; the wheel is completely round. There's no funky stuff going on here at all. Um, I'm shooting action with a mirrorless uh, without a mechanical shutter. Go figure that. And now this is the shot that I wanted. There's more unfinished business because it's not the shot that I wanted to get. But it ended up being the shot that I wanted because look at that. It's pin sharp on Corey. And that was where I set the delay on five. And it's held it all the way through there with him. You know, this is a pretty slow shutter um action shot you know i mean not super slow it's 250th of a second but you know there's a good bit of movement in it um corey's pin sharp the focus is is tracked exactly the way i asked the camera to do it um you know this camera is a photographer's camera you give it the right information and this camera almost takes over for you like i said i felt a little bit ripped off because i wanted to do more i was like you know i have to control this camera i have to be the boss um but you know, I was using auto area and uh, 3D and it was finding the zone every time and I was just blown away. Now, this sequence of shots, this is my unfinished business from the last one. Now, I mean, look at the gold on there. This is the sun's basically down. Corey's launch is, um, is in the dark from the ramp and I'm panning with him all the way, blackout free. It's the only way that I can do this. And uh, the blackout free was – now, this is the thing, right? So the EVF feels like an OVF. There's no delay when I bring my eye up to it. It's already going. Um, it's instantaneous. It's it's the weirdest thing that, that I ever felt in a mirrorless camera because it's, it's seamless. It feels like a hybrid, which I always joked about that I wanted was a hybrid camera. This is the closest thing that I've got to my hybrid. The EVF performs like an OVF. It will blow you away when you're shooting action. Um, you throw the camera around. Don't just look through it and go, oh, yeah, that's pretty. Move the camera around, find something to pan with, and it will blow you away. I mean, look at this, right? So it's tracked the focus from the ramp up over the sky through the sun. Not once in three runs did it go to the background at all. The focus stayed on Corey all the way through and it blew me away. And this is what I want to do. This is low light action, um, backlit action, and it's it's just crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. I got a bit obsessed with this shoot because I missed it. This is the one that Scott got last time, which I missed. I hope you enjoyed checking out those photos of Corey. Brought back some memories for me. I can tell you that much. Uh, Corey puts me in the zone every single time. Hey, so next up, video-wise, we're going to hook into my low light test with Ellie Gonzalez. Uh, this is a lot of fun too, so um, enjoy it. We're at uh, my buddy Wes's studio, Creative Focus Studios on the Gold Coast in Australia. And you guessed it, we are going to test out the Nikon Z9 and we're going to do low light capabilities because as you all know Nikons can see in the dark like a cat full of carrots I made that term up and it's true and we've got uh, we've got Ellie coming along and she's gonna do a little shoot for us so I'm gonna shoot with the 50 mil 1.2 probably 228 but we're really here for the Z9 and um, I tell you now the low light capabilities are gonna rock your socks it's the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my life it's gonna completely revolutionize what I do on a film set and this is why I wanted to do a real test like this so it's really really it's these tiny little lights so it's gonna be so groovy 
And um, I've... Maybe look like a Bond villain, I'd be so happy. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm all for Bond. <laughs> It'll feel different because what I'm doing is like, you know, you know, with a lot of your shoots, you're used to the photographer throwing light in. Oh, yeah. I'm actually going to be taking it away. That's cool. And it will blow, I don't know if you've ever done a shot like this, but it will blow you away how beautiful it makes your skin and everything. It's literally, you're the one that is the light. We're going to turn the lights off and we're going to see this little baby, the Z9, um, in the dark. So that's sort of what we've got at the moment. Oh wow, holy moly, that's incredible. Yeah, that's cool, right? I'm going to use my little screen, which no one ever sees me use the screen, but I am going to so I can get chin up just a little bit. Right, I've got rid of the bounce, as you can see, because I don't want anyone saying, yeah, but you're punching more light in, so I'm going to take more light away. So that's what I'm doing. 40%, 1%, 1%, let's see how we go. 25,600 ISO, I mean, come on, give me a break. Let's have a look, we're at 85. Sixty at 2.8. And up to 25,600. So 6,480 for 28. Well, thanks, Ledge. So good. Oh, let's do a really stupid one. Let's do a high and a down low. <laughs> Up high. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love doing those shoots. Right, what an absolute legend Ellie is. You know, I had to throw in some of the beauty there to uh, take away from the way from the beasts, so to speak. And talking of beasts, this camera is a beast. Um, I'm going to hook you straight in to some photos with Ellie now. And um, let me just share the screen. And and there you go. I mean, look at that. That's twenty five thousand six hundred ISO. I've got three little LEDs, um, two of them in the background are on 1% bouncing off black and the, uh, and the other one is um, pointing down on the ground at 40% and just blew me away. I was taking light out and taking light out to get to uh, what I wanted to do. Now this was never going to be a perfect shot. It's 26,500 ISO um, and this is a JPEG. And it's blowing me away. And I hope it's blowing you away as well. It's just incredible to think that this is what we've got now. Oh, this is really cool. So this is a 50 mil and it's an 85. I've never done this before, but it's a little bit of a morph. So check that out. I love doing that. And I just came across it by accident when I was putting them up. So anyway, now we went on to the uh, 85. It's just holding the light. You know, it's got great blacks going on there as well. Um, I'm not even going to bother showing you 6400 or 128. I'm just going to show you the 25,600 um, because I've now got a low light beast. And don't forget, Nikon's can see in the dark like a cat full of carrots, as you can see right now. And Ellie's just amazing to photograph. I mean, what what more can you say? Look at that, just striking cheekbones, and it just goes to show. You know, I'm not I'm not great at lighting, but it just goes to show what you can do with three little lights and a dark room, like it was a cave. I turned it into a completely black cave. And this one here I've got on so that you can see the detail in that 25,600 into the into the black of the leather pants. Um, again, JPEGs, so uh, I'd love to see the RAWs, and I will probably by the time this video comes out. Um, but if that's a JPEG, then happy days, and then punch in. Ellie's going to do an edit of this one for me, so I'm going to put it on my Instagram. So it might already be there by the time you see it. If not, check it out. 
Right, let's go and have a look at the vid of the ice hockey. Like I said, what I wanted to do here was find a happy medium between Corey's fast action on the bike and the super low light capabilities of Ellie in the studio. So um, enjoy it. The auto area on iDetect is getting me a better result than the 3D, which is not what I expected at all. Hey team. So here we are at the Brisbane Buccaneers Hockey Rink in Australia. So today, we're gonna to combine high ISO and high action, and we're gonna test the autofocus, and we're gonna test the 3D focus, because it's back, and let's go. Feels good too, it's like, it's got plenty of purchase, I can throw it around. It's got a considerable weight to it, but my hand is not getting sore at all. It just fits beautifully. Such a beautiful game, hockey. It's so awesome to photograph. Usually the playback button's been up here, but Nikon's put it down there. I'm so used to it being up high. I've now put it onto the Function 1, and it's really good. I've only been using it for a week, and I'm already used to it. Just having that 20 frames second burst is astounding. That's a good little angle up there, Scott. Only took you three periods to find it. I gotta say, um, I am not very often speechless, but um, this has made me pretty much so. I can't believe how it was following it around um, the tracking points. Uh, I've never had a DSLR that behaved like this. I've never had a mirrorless that behaved like this. Um, I'm calling it the Holy Grail, that's it. And incidentally, uh, the Holy Grail, or Holy Grail, has nine letters. Z9, Z9, where is it? No one's watching. Z9, nine letters in Holy Grail. The writing's on the wall. Um, yeah, incredibly impressed. I can't wait to uh, this could be the last camera I ever need. It's gonna be hard going back to anything else. I'll give you the tip. Thanks team. You guys are awesome. I was speechless and I'll give you the tip. That doesn't happen very often. So when Scotty and I first had the idea to uh, go and shoot some ice hockey, he said, right, you know, we really need to um, film the screens so that we can show where the focus points are and all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, Scotty, it's pointless because they've got helmets on. You know, you won't see eye focus on it and you probably won't get face detect either. So we get there and uh, the reason why I was speechless is because from the blue line or from beyond the blue line, the human detect was picking up the face and then as they got closer, it was picking up the eyes through the visor. Now these aren't amazing hockey shots by any length of uh, a stick but they are serving the purpose tonight to show you what, what was going on. And I used 3D a fair bit as well. And I was using the 3D like I normally do, you know, pointed on the face and off it goes. But I found that it was almost better having it just like one or two stops up from center so that I knew as soon as I picked up the camera where it was, uh, where it was going to take me. And the human detect I had turned on and it was again picking up the face and the eyes even though the 3D point stayed where it was where it was told to stick. Now this thing sticks like glue and I, I, I was speechless constantly. Here's my, my little mate Ben and um, I mean look at the look at it. It's like this is full frame shot and um, oh there's there's Steve Harris, my uh, goalie buddy. Now, I've got this in here because, you know, it's sharp, pin sharp on him, straight between the other two players, 
And then it follows him over as he's going for the puck. Now, I, I never imagined it to be so accurate and to blow me away. Here again, you know, I've got players crossing. Um, if you've got too big a focus zone, it's going to move to the player in the front or the, you know, the one on the side. Um, but it's not. It's going where I wanted it to go, and it was it was really trippy. Um, so this is, you know, this is the same stuff. It's going and it's holding the focus through there. Now, again, you know, I mean, it's just finding where I wanted it to be and I didn't have to do too much work and I was a little bit disappointed about that. It kept on taking the joy of knowing that I worked my uh, little patootie off to get a shot. Now, you know, same there, you know, there's a lot of lot going on there which can confuse any camera um, straight onto the eye through the visor, um, you know, same thing, pulling up plenty of action. I didn't get the great shot. So, and, and, and the, the guys weren't playing full contact either, so I didn't get any of the biff going on. Um, again, now this is a really interesting sequence, and it will show you the delayed um, focus lock on, which I had set to five for this. Now, you know, you just got a standard action shot there. Then the ref starts to come through. It's still holding focus on the player that I wanted it to. Then the ref is completely obscuring. And you can see that Henri on the right there is a little bit out of focus. That's because I'm sharp on the front player. Then look at that. Back onto the front player and it's pin. Holding it. Holding it. And um, it just blew me away. And there's Henri there with his little eyes sticking through the cage. I mean, you know how hard it is to try and get uh, a shot of an eye through a cage, and um, it nailed it. A little bit more action for you. But again, you know, the, the EVF performed like an OVF, blew me away. Now, this is not rolling shutter. This is the flex of the stick. But the next two shots will show you that there is no rolling shutter because it's the follow-through, and this is a big, fat slap shot. And uh, there is no bend in the stick on the follow-through at all. Look at that. Straight as an arrow, straight as an arrow. Um, so there you go. There's the flex. Straight, follow-through, follow-through. And uh, there you go. So there's the hockey. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video and the photo talk-through. Well, team, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed my play date with the Nikon Z9. As you can see, we had a lot of fun playing around in the sand pit. Um, this camera just blows me away. For me on a film set, I've got the low light capabilities. I've got the super fast frame rate for action. Um, and the, the facial recognition and the eye, eye recognition absolutely blew me away. The way that it picked up a face and then transitioned through into the eye through a visor on a helmet um, just knock my socks off I, you know i'm speechless as i was through much of the video and um that's no easy task with me just quietly now a couple of big shout outs um number one scotty thanks buddy for uh being cinematographer and editor on our little indie production here and uh, massive shout out to nikon australia for uh entrusting us with the nikon z9 and knowing how i throw cameras around on a film set and still letting me have it and um, of course, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, Corey Creed and uh, um, Ellie Gonzalez and the Bucks Ice Hockey Club uh, with the Puckers and Moose. So um, it's going to be very, very hard for me to go back to another camera, I've got to say. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, if you could like it and um, if you could subscribe, that'd be really cool too. And ding the bell so you get notified next time we do one of these nutso videos. Um, as you know, there's unfinished business with Corey Creed, so we'll be back. Cheers.